Welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and today is review time and this is Internet Explorer 10 for Windows 7. It's finally here, the official version of Internet Explorer 10. Now, the first questions you might ask yourself is, do I really need Explorer 10? If you don't use Internet Explorer, of course you don't really need Explorer 10. But if you use Internet Explorer, I believe this is a must-have version. Uh, I rarely, rarely like new versions of Explorer. Um, when I went from uh, 6 to 7, 7 was slow, 6 was pretty bad in the security. Um, 8 is better, yet um, I believe it's when Explorer 8 came along that I went to Google Chrome. Then came 9. Um, I had found that 9 had some lots of compatibility problems with web websites and I just um, stick with Google Chrome and finally here's 10 and I'm pretty impressed by Internet Explorer 10 um, if you look at my videos on this channel, uh, one of the videos that I've put online is speed test. I compared Firefox 19, which is the latest release. Um, I know there's a Firefox 20 beta, but I wanted to really test it with a uh, version that everybody has, which is Firefox 19. Latest version of Google Chrome and uh, after comparing the speed they are um, Internet Explorer 10 is amazing faster than all the other browsers um, in some cases very fast compared to Chrome and Firefox so that's the first amazement I had how fast this browser is when you go on the web and um, like all browsers, if you want to upgrade to Explorer 10, first of all, uh, make sure that all of your software that you use, because sometimes we use some special software that had plugins to Explorer because they need it. And if the plugins don't aren't compatible with Explorer 10, then you might run into problems. So uh, if you use special software that have plugins, um, you should check with your um, the company that actually provides that piece of software. Uh, an example of that is the uh, Adobe Acrobat uh, that adds a very um, a, a PDF type um, plugin to Explorer and that can prevent some of the features of Acrobat of working well for example. And there's lots of software that actually you know put these little plugins. Uh, if you're uh, just basic regular user don't have special software just do email internet uh, maybe a little bit of Microsoft Office uh, Word Excel and stuff like that you don't have to worry about that um, there's nothing that's gonna stop working after you upgrade to Explorer 10 um, if you don't know how to do it uh, manually there's a, a video that I also put online to explain how to manually install Explorer 10 into your computer now, um, when you went from Explorer 8 to 9, it was a real drastic change and lots of people just got totally lost. Everything vanished, the toolbars vanished, everything was changed around and um, I've seen it with my clients because I'm a tech guy here in Montreal and lots of my clients were totally lost, um, of course the ones that use Internet Explorer. So. Um, first thing you'll be happy to see is that when you go from Explorer 9 to 10 nothing has changed. Um, I've actually compared both pages after you upgrade to Internet Explorer 10 what is cool is that all the, tool bar the toolbars are there your start page isn't changed. Actually you're greeted with this welcome page here which is meet your new browser Internet Explorer 10 that's the first thing that will show up in a separate tab from your um, 
start page that shows you a few of the new features that you have now and so it tells you where you can click and do stuff uh, one of the re very nice features that I've seen uh, here is that for example you need to have compatibility view for example I've loaded the Los Angeles Times page you can see here on the top now on the right side on the address bar this little compatibility view website if you go to a website that doesn't display well or simply states that you need to have an older browser like Internet Explorer 8 for example all you have to do now is just click on that tab and it's gonna change color becomes blue and it displays the page but in a old format if you want which is an older browser so if you have problems viewing some pages it's pretty cool because you can go back into another type of compatibility view and of course if you click on it it becomes gray and when it's gray it's, when it's grayed out it means that it's not being um, activated so the page reloads every time you change that so that's a cool option but one of the um, major options I would say under the hood because when you look at Explorer 10 here you don't really see much difference but one thing that I've noticed is that when you click or go into websites Explorer 10 first of all is so so much faster than most other browsers so for example if I go into uh, Google here you see it I'm going to YouTube uh, look how fast everything appears and that I uh, really really have checked it out and compared this speed with other browsers it's much faster than Firefox and Chrome so if you start browsing around with Explorer 10 and see that your computer is actually faster it is the browsing is a lot faster on Explorer 10 that's a pretty cool feature they really done a great job in the way uh, pages are rendered <coughs> sorry probably the um, most important feature is in the settings tab if you go into internet options and to advanced you go into security you have this new little check mark always send do not track header <coughs> sorry <coughs> this is brand new it's on by default if you go to websites and that uh, they really have lots of tracking going on on your um, browser you will actually have a toolbar that's going to show up and request do you want to um, add the do not track feature um, do not track is a little controversial for companies because what it does it prevents them from really tracking you down and knowing your browsing habits which means that instead of having those little pop-ups um, the pop-up ads <coughs> will be more random what tracking does is mostly because when you go on a website where there are ads what happens is they track you down and look at what browsing you've been doing so that they can actually put the ads that are more into the, the, the subject of interest so if for example you go to um, vacation hotels and stuff like that or airplanes the airplane tickets what actually they'll do is that they'll check that by tracking you down and they can add uh, put ads that will be for airlines for example or for hotels or resorts and stuff like that so by tracking you down knowing your habits they can put ads that you will have a lot more chances of clicking on the do not track stops that feature and that means they just don't know what type of ads they could put on you for clicking so that's why a lot of um, a lot of companies don't like this option and it's on by default in Explorer 10 which is a big move and uh, it's a pretty bold move it's uh, something uh, 
that I would not have uh, suspected um, Microsoft would actually do. And um, I know that in Firefox 20, coming up soon, um, Do Not Track feature will also be on. So it's really getting into the privacy here and trying to increase the privacy on your web browsing uh, experience. Which is not a bad thing because basically we're being tracked a lot and I believe we should be aware of when we are tracked. Uh, I think that's a cool feature for that because um, until now everything is done under the hood and visible. So you're going on the web and you just don't know. You just don't know. Are you tracked? Are you not tracked? You don't know. Nothing shows up that tells you who you are. But on the average most websites will have tracking and you know not just one or two sometimes it's dozens of tracking different trackings going on which is uh, amazing and uh, there's concern about privacy because of that so that's a nice feature and of course you can take out the check mark if you want to have a regular browsing experience or if that uh, do not track header actually pops up too often you can actually go into the uh, options uh, where everything is happening apart from the fact that Explorer 10 is extremely rapid everything all the options the new options are basically pretty much under the hood lots of security and privacy features uh, in the internet options another options that I've seen into the privacy is uh, interesting is that there's location here which uh, lets you put a little check mark and says never allow websites to request your physical location. So that's pretty cool. And what basically you can do is that on some of the websites where they actually know or track you down where you are, you can actually add a list of websites um, that have tracked you down and by putting that little check mark well you know no website can actually know where you are um, they will know by your IP address or by the information that your modem has they will know a few things you know they, they will know you're in Canada for example or you're in the United States or but they're not going to be able to pinpoint this exact location in the city uh, as they do now because they really know pretty much where you are when you go on the web. It's a cool browser. I really enjoy it. Um, I've downloaded hundreds of pages to test its compatibility. It works perfectly. It did not hang on. It did not do any, any crashing on me. And I really find that um, I'm actually amazed enough that I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't go back to Explorer from Google Chrome. Um, I always thought Google Chrome was a fast browser but now with Explorer that I've tested against, wow Explorer is just amazingly fast. So it's a cool browser. I think Microsoft finally did a great job in Explorer 10. Um, yeah it took 10 versions before they did it right but uh, basically now they're really close to something that's in really really nice and I think that for the first time I can say that Explorer 10 is probably a very good browser as good if not better than Firefox and Chrome so um, if you use Internet Explorer uh, go and get Explorer 10 right now you're gonna really love it um, if you don't know how well there's the uh, Windows update coming up that will bring it automatically and uh, of course you can look at one of uh, watch one of my videos that I put online where I show you how to go and get it to the download.microsoft.com website and install it on your computer it's a very very easy task uh, probably the easiest version of Internet Explorer to install they've really done a great job of just not asking any questions the minimum questions you know you'll just click run and um, click OK you're going to install Explorer and that's it no questions and that is really bright and I think the, the, the Explorer team can be really proud of what they've done here so this was a uh, quick review of Internet Explorer 10 
for Windows 7. If you enjoyed these videos, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions, let us know. And uh, hey, hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel. Bye-bye.